Hi, this is LaRosa Johnson with another Word Search video tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thompson Chain Reference Library. Now this is one of our most popular titles in Word Search and it's one that I found that a lot of users really don't really know how to take full advantage of. So what I want to do in this video is just show you what's in the Thompson and how you can take full advantage of it as far as your studies. So first thing I'm going to do is show you the quick filter. So you come up here to the quick filter and then you just type in Thompson Chain. And what this will do is it will bring up a list of all of your Thompson resources. Now here you can see I've got the Biblical Atlas, the Photo Library, which is actually a separate product, but if you buy the Thompson Box product you'll have that, but if you just buy the Thompson Chain Reference Library by itself you won't receive that. Same with the Thompson Chain Reference Bible Companion. If you buy the Box product you'll get it, but if you just buy the resource on its own then you're not going to. Then you get the Archaeological Supplement, the Bible Book Outlines, Harmonies and Illustrations, the Outline Study Series, the Marginal Notes, and the Topics. Now where you're going to end up spending most of your time is in these two books, the Marginal Notes and your Topics. So let's go ahead and start with the Marginal Notes. So we click on this and we open it up. And just for reference, we'll just go to Genesis 1.1. Now what we see here is basically what's going to be in the margin of your Bible. So if you had a print version of the Thompson chain, this is the text that would show up in the margins. So we can see here we got this, this PP which you hover over and it shows you that it's a parallel passage. So we see here that John 1.3 and Hebrews 1.10 are clear parallel passages to Genesis 1.1. So then we can hover over those and find out what they are. So we can see all things were made through him and without him was nothing made. So we see that. And then we have all these other these other topics. So we have creator and then it comes with a, another passage and that's just another clear cross reference for us. Then we see earth, heavens, family bible readings. Then we see the author Moses, analysis of the book and then another entry for the for the author and so what these number numbers here are on the left are the actual Thompson chain topic numbers so you can use this marginal notes to just quickly go through as you're reading the Bible so let's say we have a Bible open and if we keep these two in sync with one another as we scroll through our Bible let's say we go to the to first Thessalonians 4 this will carry along with us and we can see all the different topics that are contained within that verse. But let's go back to Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. So we have this here. We'll now just close the Bible for now since we don't need it. So let's say we want to find out more about the Creator. So we just come over here, click on this number, and it'll take us to our Thompson Chain Topics, this book right here. So we click on it, and it takes us here. So we see universe which is 884 you scroll up you see more information you see you get the main entry creator it gives you a brief definition and then for the entry we're actually talking about the universe and then what you get here is a whole list of verses that talk about that particular topic which is awesome because you don't have to go look at the cross references or anything you get a full topical list right here. You can just kind of scroll through, hover over them to read them, see which ones are good, see which ones aren't as far as what you may be studying at the time. And this really gives you a thorough understanding of that particular topic. Then you scroll down here to the bottom, you see the C links and these take you to um, related entries as well. So you can see God's Works, which is topic 3910, or Heavens, topic 1550. And since that's one here, 1550, let's go ahead and click on it. So we can see that the heavens were created by God, and then these are all the different verses in the Bible that are talking about that. So that's how you can use the marginal notes and the topics and chain topics together. And the nice thing about the topics is if you have a particular topic in mind and you're not just like studying a, a particular verse, going verse by verse in a study or something. If you just say you have a topic in mind, like 
uh, let's say prayer. You just type in prayer and then you get a whole list of topics here that you can choose from. But we'll just go to the main entry for prayer. And then you can see you get a whole list of verses that you can use for studying prayer. So you get general references to prayer. You get when it's first mentioned, the universal need for prayer, prayer for the saints, how prayer is sentenced to God, how prayer is prescribed, which is another topic all on its own. You can see passages where prayer is answered. Then you get particular uh, specific people like Moses, Gideon, Hannah, and so on, where their prayers were answered. Then you can see where answers were promised to prayer. You get unanswered prayer and verses that relate to that. And then you get specific verses talking about whose prayers are unanswered. So you get the disobedient, those who hold on to sin, the indifferent, those who neglect mercy, and so on, as far as the kind of people whose prayers are not answered. Then you get verses for requests heard and so on. So you got to get a full discussion on prayer and all the different verses that are related to it. So whether you're studying from a particular scripture or you have a topic in mind that you want to study, you can quickly get to it either way. So that's one awesome thing about the tops and chain topics. So let's go ahead and close both of these down and let's talk about some of the other books. So let's talk about the Biblical Atlas first. We'll just go right in order. The Biblical Atlas is basically a list of books. Uh, not books, but of maps. So you open, up the, open up the table of contents and let's just go to the list of maps. And you can see in this book there are 15 different maps that we can look at. So we get archaeological sites in Palestine, archaeological sites in the Bible lands, and then you just get a whole bunch of different maps. So let's just take a look at the Babylonian Empire, just for starters. So you get this map here, and it's kind of small, but then if you click on it, you can get a much larger version. Then you just take a look at it, and you can really see the details of the map. You can copy it to PowerPoint or your word processor and use it for your studies or your classes. So that's pretty much what you get in the Bible, the Biblical Atlas. You get a bunch of different maps that you can use and look at. Then the archaeological supplement is just another addition to the Thompson Chain topics where you get more charts and then you get some other topics here as well where you can see A through Z you can just, or you can use the drop down so if you have something in mind like a certain place let's just say Babylon you get a full entry talking about Babylon and the different discoveries that were made there and, and so on so the, arche the archaeological supplement is really helpful as well the Bible book outlines so let's say you're, you're starting a, a new book of the Bible that you're studying like we're just looking at Genesis so we would want to look at this and this gives us a full outline of Genesis as far as the author when it was written the purpose tools written to the main theme keyword key verses and then you get just a synopsis as far as an outline for how the book is structured so that's really good, cool then you get some prominent people and then also lessons that are learned in this particular book so with the book outlines this is really what you get you really get a nice snapshot of each book of the bible and how you can really look at it before you just dive in and start studying things and the harmonies and illustrations this is another great book let's look at this this one the journeys of Abraham and most of these contain maps and the images that you can take a look at and you can click on them again to, to zoom in to see more then it gives you details like for this one we're looking at the journeys of Abraham from Genesis 11 31 through 25 10 and again if you're in the in the marginal notes all of these will be linked for you so you just click on the link and it'll take you right to this book so then you get a full listing here of, of his different journeys and where he went and the passages that go along with them as well as the points on the map that you can take a look at to see exactly where he was so those are the kind of things that you get in the harmonies and illustrations just maps and more images to kind of help you 
really understand the Bible and the the tales that are going along with that. Then you get the Outline Study series, which is another great book. And we'll just come in and pull up a random one. So like the origin and growth of the English Bible, you get a full discussion there with the chart and some some information as far as outline the studies go. Let's pull up another one, see if we can find one. So here we can see an outline for for Jacob. So we can get a whole outline for his for his early life. We get some images to go along with it as far as the that coincides with the outline, which is really nice. So this, this kind of gives us a quick synopsis of different outlines that we can use for studies. So like if we're teaching Sunday school or a Bible class or something, we can kind of use these outlines to teach a full Bible class and really get our students engaged in that. Or just for our own personal studies, if you want a structured way to really get started with Bible study, this is a quick way to get started with it. So now that I've shown you all that, I want to show you one thing that you can use as far as a desktop to show you how you can use all this together. And this is one that was put together by Steve Ward, one of our trainers here at Word Search. And if you take one of his training classes, he's going to show you how to put all this together, but I just want to show it to you really quickly. So it's a, top, a desktop that I have called Thompson. So we'll just load that quickly. Okay, so now that our desktop is loaded, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And you can see that it's really basic. There are three main windows. So in our first window, the large one, we have the marginal notes, which again are the, mar the notes that would be in the margin of a print Thompson chain reference Bible. Then we've got our topics here. Then we've got some cross-reference books open, such as the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, the NASB, HCSB, NESB cross-references. Then we also just have a Bible open, so if we need to look at any links. Then we've got the Cross-Reference Explorer down here, which gives us quick access to all of our books for a particular verse, where that verse may be mentioned. And then up here we have all of our other Thompson chain books open. We've got the Companion, which is, again, available if you buy the, the box product. But if you just buy the Thompson Chain Reference Library by itself, you're not going to get this. We've got the book outlines, the study series, harmonies and illustrations, the archaeological support, and the biblical atlas. And then we've also thrown in the home illustrated study Bible maps, if you have that available in your library. And then pretty much what you do here is you just put in a verse that you want to study, and this gives you all the information that you need to find in Thompson. So like here we have Exodus 19.20. So we can see Divine Fellowship, let's talk about Moses, mountains, and the tree of Moses' life. So then we can click on each of these to get to different places in the, in the Thompson. But I don't want to divulge everything. I want to let Steve teach it to you. So this is just a quick glance of how it can be set up and how you can have all the Thompson books open at once. But I definitely recommend taking Steve's class, which you can go, get to by going to wordsearchbible.com slash training. Sign up for his training class, and they'll show you the ins and outs of, of this desktop and how to use it for your own studies. So that's the Thompson Chain Reference Library and how you can use it in your studies. So until next time, peace and God bless.